on all of our UHF systems, those are very, very commonly used by fire departments, police departments, municipalities, two-way radios. It's not uncommon to have interference where we actually lose our radio signal from our base station. Uh, I get a lot of phone calls from operators or ground laborers where they're very confused, they don't know what to do, they don't know how to find this issue. There's a couple of ways. Uh, first off, we can come into the GPS info tab. We can come over to the information tab and we can actually see our distance to base reading. We can see our latency, how long it takes a signal to get to the machine from the base and what our signal integrity is here. If we're noticing some kind of latency issue or some kind of distance to base discrepancy, some kind of signal integrity percentage loss, uh, it's very, very common, very easy to change the channel on the machine. So from the home screen, if we press the power button and we go to tools, the very top option is for configure radios. When we're in configure radios, uh, we've got an additional tab, lower left corner, it says configure. And as we can see here, we have a multitude of different channels that we can choose from. Now, if we do change the channel on the machine, it's always a good idea uh, to grab some kind of scanner and make sure that the channel we're gonna grab is a clear, open channel. Uh, it would not do us any good to grab a channel that has even more interference on it. So mission planning is always critical there. Uh, as well as, please remember, if you do change the channel on the machine, you're gonna have to change it on your field rover as well as your base station. Once the channel's selected, we simply hit set. Select OK. As long as everything went well, our lower left-hand box should go green. We should see no X over our base station radio icon. 